Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Those ones, empaths, you're never going to be forgotten by this narcissist that was involved in your life. You're never going to be forgotten. All of you collectively as a group of empaths that you are made such an impact in the life of this parasite narcissist, right? You will never be forgotten. You just, you just won't be, right? They can go on to new supplies. They can pretend to, to make out they're going on with their life. You made such a tremendous impact in the life of the narcissist. They, it's something that just cannot be forgotten, right? And also they have constant reminders, right? They have constant reminders in their journey when they go forward, right? They try so hard. They try so hard to forget about you, right? They try so hard. But they have reminders from these new supplies that these new supplies are everything that you're not, right? Or how shall I put it? Did I put that wrong? Did I put that wrong? Basically, these new supplies aren't on your level, right? You know, you've got something these new supplies don't have, right? They have a constant reminder. These new, new suppliers are not living up to expectations of what you used to provide, right? So this is a constant reminder that they face day in, day out. Whether it's this new supplier or another new supplier, they have these constant, constant reminders about you, the chosen one, the empath, the one that was a significant impact in their life, the one that helped them, the one that supported them, the one that loved them, the one that was kind and empathetic and true and transparent. You see, this gets to them. It grates on them, right? Remember, everything is to do with supply source. And you had a potent supply source, both positive and negative, right? You offered them a potent positive supply source, a loving, caring, empathetic, you know, positive supply source. And also when they were, you know, trying to get reactions out of you or whatnot, they would also get a negative supply source from you as well. Very potent as well. Right. So this combined is the ideal person for a narcissist. Right. Because they can't function without a supply source. So they find themselves in these situations with the new supply and they realize that you're everything and this, this new supply isn't anything at all, right? They, they can't, they, they, they don't feel the same way about the new supply. They don't get the same feelings from the new supply. And this is all why you won't be forgotten. On top of that, right? You have to take into an account that the narcissist had an assignment by the devil. The negative forces, negative entities, demons, dark realm, whatever you want to call it. In the spiritual realm, they had a, an assignment. Whether they were conscious of this assignment or not, it's in their DNA, it's in their makeup. You know, their assignment was to destroy you and finish you off, right? Their assignment was to leave you broken. Their assignment was to make sure that you can't spread your love and light in the world ever again, right? That's what the assignment was, right? And this was their duty that they needed to do. And... A lot of you have shown that you're resilient. You know, a lot of you, you may have been hurt. You may have been broken hearted. You may have been stuck for a little while. You, you may be stuck right now in the worst state, worst state you feel like. But I promise you, you know, a chosen one and an empath has such resilience and strength and determination that regardless of how this relationship ended, you know, whether you were discarded, reverse discarded, or even if you were the one that cut them off because they become too toxic. You see, you might be in a bout of depression or feeling low. You see, you will get out of that, you know, and many of you have got out of that. You know, the proofs in the comment section and the sessions that I hold with people, you know, many people get out of that dark spell and they go on to find new love and they go on to do great with their life and they go on to spread love and light in the world. And this is the failure of the assignment from the narcissist involved in your life. This is the failure of the assignment. And they are held accountable. This narcissist that was, held, that was involved in your life is held accountable. And they will be tormented by the devil 
for failing the assignment. This will come in a form of an anxiety, of a void. You see, they'll feel a void. They'll feel the void anyway. They'll feel anxiety anyway because they're not getting the supply source that they used to get. But this will intensify by the hand of the devil. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It'll take two seconds of your time. Just like this video has shown up for you. Help it show up for someone else in the community that it may be of benefit to. Help with the algorithm, you know. It's the only way that it will show up to someone else that will be in a time of need. Thank you so much. But this is the hand of the devil, right? This is causing their feelings to intensify, right? Because the, the devil wants them to finish off the job that they started, right? And from the devil's perception... And even from, from the narcissist's perception, they still feel they have a slight hold over you. Many narcissists that go on with their lives think in their minds, or they'll be delusional enough to think, maybe there's a possibility, or they'll be curious to say the least. They'll be curious. Is there a possibility that they could rekindle with you? Is there a possibility they could reconcile with you and get back and finish off what they started, you know? And the devil will tempt them and will whisper to them and tell them things you know, um, we'll just be in their thought process, you know, um, we'll, we'll make them start functioning, desiring to be back with you. They will also feel this desire from themselves alone. You know, they're going to feel this desire because they're not getting a supply source from this new supply, right? They're not getting the new, they're not getting the supply source from the new supply. So they're going to fill this void anyway. But there's an in, it, it, it's intensified by the narcissist uh, by by the devil, right? It's it's intensified by the devil towards the narcissist um, by giving them, you know, um, you know they need to finish their assignment. You know, you're back out in the world. You're spreading your love and your light. You're focusing on your on your career or your purpose or your children. Your fo or all together. You know, you're focusing on things. You know, you're you're you've got love back inside you again. Some of you have found new romantic partners. You know, some of you are ha having beautiful relationships now with friends and family and romantic partners and whatnot. And this was not the agenda from the devil. The devil wanted to leave you broken, right? So you can stop spreading your love and your light, right? Because you, as a chosen one and empath in the spiritual realm, shine very brightly. And wherever you go and wherever you leave your mark, you make an impact in people's lives. And the narcissist is not exempt from this. You will make an impact in many, many people's lives in your journey and on your time on this earth. You'll make a tremendous impact in people's lives. And that's the ability you have as a chosen one and an empath. You have the ability to do this. And the devil wants to seize you and stop you and prevent you from rising and doing this. Right. And that's what the motive was by sending the narcissist your way in, in the first place, getting you to fall in love with someone, getting you to be broken hearted, getting you to stagnate, getting you to be stuck, getting you to not be able to move forward and not be able to transition to the next phase of healing, right? And this is what the devil ultimately wanted you for you, never to be able to heal, never to be able to be resilient. But God is the all powerful, the universe is the all powerful. However you look at this, whether you look at this as dark forces, negative energy, and positive energy, or you look at this as God and the devil, it doesn't really matter. There's something happening in the spiritual realm. Whatever whatever name you call it, there's something happening, right? And this this narcissist is never going to forget you, right? You know, you made such an impact in their lives, just like you'll make an impact in someone else's life, or you've already made impact in people's lives in your journey, right? They will never forget you because of this, but they've failed their assignment, you haven't been broken and the devil is tormenting them for failing their assignment. They are tormented. Anxiety. Um, how else has it come across to them? You know, feeling stress, restlessness, um, feeling like they didn't finish what they started, you know, curiosity. All of these things to do with you, they'll be feeling restless, stressed, curiosity, um, wondering what you're doing, you know, uh, knowing that they're also they, they're having the feelings of a lack of supply from this new supply or other new supplies that they've encountered, you know. So in their own minds, they have not forgot about you and they will never forget about you. They'll never forget about you, right? And one worry that really occurs in the narcissist's mind is have you changed? 
forever has that version of you that was once there that used to be subservient that used to be loving and caring has that version of you disappeared has that version of you gone and that's what they're very curious about so oftentimes they'll do temperament checkers they'll do baiting things they'll do something to provoke you they'll do anything just to see like they'll they'll do it from a distance at first just to see if you react the same way because even if you react negatively they'll say ah yes they've got you right and that's why it's important to remain emotionless neither positive nor negative emotionless and don't give them no supply at all because if you give them any supply source they'll look at that as they've still got you where they want you even if you started slurring hateful words and stuff like this towards them, they'll look at it like they've still got you where they want you, right? They'll believe that they can manipulate you back to be that loving former self. But when you're indifferent, when you're stoic, when you're emotionless, they realize they don't have a hold over you no more. And that version of yourself is gone. And it's not that that version of yourself has gone entirely. It's just that version of yourself, that loving, caring, empathetic version of yourself that you show them has gone towards them and you will never show that version of yourself towards them again. So anyway, to enhance your experience and have access to a gallery of exclusive unseen videos and a chance to reach out to me personally for video requests ideas you have, there's a three day free trial that can easily be cancelled at any time by going to your Zion account page. All video requests are processed and uploaded within 24 hours from when requests were submitted. A link to the Zion membership website will appear on your screen now. Thanks for listening today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you want to donate, you don't have to, but if you'd like to support the channel, you can. Links in the description box below. For more narcissism-based content, check out our other channel. Links in the description box. Please visit the forums. One of them is Tips to Heal, and I'd love to find out what helps you on your journey. Please book a healing session with me. If you need advice or some light shed on your situation the empath monthly group meeting is coming up at the end of the month limited space is available there's a whatsapp group for survivors to stay in touch i'm also doing email consultations if you need a plan of action the links for all i've mentioned are in the description box below if you'd like to know more about the narcissist devil uses sex to control the empath click this video here so anyway i'll be back with another video soon peace